Welcome to Sharing the Middle, where we're covering perfectionists, overachievers, and anyone in the middle of a struggle come together to learn to embrace the messy middles of life. I'm Lacey, your fellow middler and guide, whose claim to fame this week is not losing her mind as she had her roof replaced and nowhere to go. So welcome. This is a a mini episode. It's our second mini episode. And this one's coming at you real fresh, real hot, because I'm recording it this week. So you're getting live-ish Lacey in your uh, feed. First and foremost, I just want to say that I'm so excited that you're here. The last time that I talked directly to you, I told you that I am just pretending that it's me and you hanging out, getting a chance to know each other. Right now, it's just you getting to know me. I get that. I am so excited and so proud of this little podcast and it has brought me so much joy in a time that I've needed it. So just again, thank you so much for being here. So let's jump right in. I'm mixing it up this week with my reading and I'm actually going to read to you a little bit from my upcoming self helpy workbook. That's what I'm calling it. It's called Support from the Middle. It's coming out later this month. This is me plugging it, but also not me plugging it. You know what? We're just going to roll from it. But I'm going to read from one of the introductory chapters, if you want to call it that. I've got little mini essays that I sprinkle throughout talking about my experience and why I'm having you do certain things in these worksheets. What I'm about to read to you is why support from the middle. So I think it's going to be pretty clear why I did this. Why support from the middle? The middle started as a passion project of mine that has become my life's work and mission. I want to be able to embrace the messy middles of life because I cannot escape them. There are so many people out there like me. So I wanted to create a community of people striving to do the same. I will be honest, I don't want the middle to tell anyone what to do. First of all, I don't want anyone telling me what to do. Thank you. But more importantly, we don't all need the same thing. We all may be in the middle, but our middles look very different depending on our age, socioeconomic status, race, size, ethnicity, gender, and so much more. The complexity of our identities and the junk that comes along with that makes it so ridiculous to have some sage or guru come in and tell us what we need to do that will solve our problems. That's why this is a workbook. It's a guide for you to have a conversation with yourself. The communication scholar in me is all about how we create our realities and the dialogue in our head. This is a way for you to start seeing that dialogue and maybe even change it. Or not. You do you. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to make guarantees that this will change your life. I do think that you may learn something about yourself. You may have some life-changing realization that unlocks a future dream of yours. Or it may just be that you hate self-helpy workbooks and that you find me annoying. Either way, you learned something and what you do with that is up to you. If it is the latter, please still be kind because I won't sleep at night knowing that you didn't like this and it was that you found me annoying. I am very much a people pleaser. This is designed to be a support for you, something to lift you up or to use if you need. We can get real deep with this building analogy on this one. Supports can be removed when needed and what is being built will stand on its own. That's how I see this workbook. It's my way of trying to give you some supports from the middle and the times that you need it so you can build back up and be on your own. You are doing the work. We're just here to hold you up. That's your little sneak peek from Support from the Middle. I have it set up in a way that is fun, hopefully still informative. So I have sections that I'm calling the boring sections and then the fun sections. The boring sections are just straight information and then the fun sections are just my commentary along with, there's like 15 worksheets within it. I think it's 14. There's some worksheets. <laughs> it's a uh set up in a way to guide you. So a little bit of a plug, but also I have loved writing these little 
snippets for the book and I just wanted to be able to share them. Also, I frankly am in a little bit of a rut right now. Uh, if you follow me on TikTok, which if you don't, you totally should, you will know that I even put a call out to the TikTok community to give me their rut busting tips. I actually think that's what I'm going to share with you all in the middle newsletter this week. So, did any of this make sense? I don't know. And now my husband is texting me. I one amazing way that you can help support this podcast is just doing the shopping that you already do, but check to see if we have affiliate links to that particular shopping. So at the middle.com, Lacey loves or support, you can see all of the different affiliate links that we have. So you can jump off from our Amazon shop, see some of the different things that I love and potentially buy from there. We get a little bit of money if you buy something. So if it's something you're already going to buy anyway, I would love for you to do it through the middle. And then it's a win-win for everyone. Thanks so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Our advice from the middle. Let's jump on in. It really relates to what I was just talking about. It says, I'm really struggling right now. I've been feeling really down and unmotivated lately, and it's starting to affect my work and relationships. I'm not sure what to do or how to snap out of it. Can you give me some advice on how to cope with these negative feelings and get back on track? Last mini episode, I talked a little bit about positivity in the middle. I really am going to encourage the same thing of challenging you to think about why you want to banish these negative feelings. And I only say that because... Oftentimes when we're pushing down or wanting to run away from negative feelings, I found for me, at least, remember, I don't want to tell you what to do. I have found that usually it means that there is a kernel of truth in there that I don't want to address. Now, that being said, I already told you, rut city over here. I am really struggling myself. And January and February are just the drags of the year for me. It's gray. I feel like nothing's going on. You don't have the joy of Christmas. So I totally get that of, of trying to figure out what to do. What I'm actually going to do, let's cheat. I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to pull up my TikTok and I'm going to read you a few of my favorite comments. So this is literally advice from other people talking to me in the middle. One big piece of advice I got several times was making a playlist of songs that you haven't heard in a while or something that you potentially listen to in your youth. Having this playlist, whether it's a throwback Thursday playlist that you find on Spotify, some kind of a playlist that kind of takes you back to a happier time or reminds you of happier times is a is a really kind of good start. An easy thing to do, right? It's not going to take too much effort if you have been really struggling and feeling unmotivated. It's You're not going to want to go for a run. That's like one of my least favorite pieces of advice. It's like exercise. Like, no, I'm down. If I'm not exercising when I'm happy, I'm not going to exercise when I'm down. Lots of people talking about enjoying brushing your teeth. Two separate people said that. So very fascinated by that. Reading and really getting into another world. Showering. I know for me, when I I mean, I've, I've documented my struggles with showers. Get yourself a shower chair, step one. Step two, take a shower. <laughs> Fake it till you make it. So act like you're happy. There is something called facial feedback theory uh, that I learned in school that is the idea that if you smile more, you will make yourself happier. As a smiler, I can, I can attest to this. Maybe f- set a timer, force yourself to smile for a little bit. So yeah, those are a couple ideas. And then the other thing is life is full of peaks and valleys, right? Not every day has to be a peak and not every month has to be a peak. My husband's calling me. Hello. Hi. All right. And we're back. I may leave that in because I think it's funny. Okay. You're allowed to have valleys. That's what I'm saying. And your valleys may take some time. They may take longer than you'd like. Hell, I am in a valley. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I will say something that I have found so much solace, solace in this struggle of my life is creating. I always told myself that I was not creative and that narrative did not serve me. 
and frankly is not true in a lot of ways. So I would think about maybe some different ways in your life that you can be creative just for you, really just for you. I think um, I told a dear friend the other day, she was talking about quilting. Hi, Katie. Um, And that she wants to learn quilting and maybe it can be a cool hobby that she sells things later. And I said, remember, you don't have to monetize your hobbies, which is like the pot calling the kettle black right here because I'm trying to monetize my creation. But that's different. It's all different. We have really gotten off track here. I really hope you get through this valley, friend. I think you will. Now we get to our final section of the show which is Lacey Loves. So these are the different things that I am loving this week. And as always, you can find them on my website eventually when my website launches. It's going to happen. It's going to happen real soon, guys. Uh, But they are in the show notes. I've got some links in there. Okay. First and foremost, I actually sent this out in the newsletter last week. I have a pair of Old Navy pants that I have linked in the show notes, like I said, they are wide leg sweatpants, but they look nice enough that people don't think that they're sweatpants when I wear them. And I gotta be honest, friends, I am only wearing sweatpants in life right now. I wore these to get an MRI and the lady was like, look how cute you are. So, you know, I, I, I feel like that means something. Anyway, they have pockets, check mark. They look nice, they look put together, they don't wrinkle. And I love them. I have them in three colors. So when I say that I wear them regularly, I mean I wear them regularly. They're pretty high-waisted. So I personally like to wear them with it more of a, like a cropped t-shirt and that throw over a cardigan. I look amazing even though I've done nothing because that's all I do from now. All right. Other things that I've really liked to leap recently. I have a scalp tonic essence. (laughs) That's really what it says on here. It's called After All Scalp Soothing Care Treatment. I use this regularly because I've got some psoriasis on my scalp and nothing works, but this is the most calming thing. And I really thought it might be a good time to share because I know winter, dry, whatnot. Again, a little bit more expensive than I would normally buy, but it's so good, so I wanted to share it. Also linked in my show notes to Amazon because that's how I get it. I don't know if it's available other places, but use the Amazon link because maybe I'll get a a bounty or whatever they're called. Anyway, last but not least, I uh, essentially have created most of my book in Canva. Since it's a workbook, it had to be uh, visual. I wanted there to be spaces and, and whatnot. So I've done it in Canva. It looks so nice. And if you don't already know about Canva, I would love to be the one to introduce you to it. There's so much that you can do in there. If you have to create anything visual and you are not a graphic designer, Canva's Canva's your jam. Uh, I do also have an affiliate link on my website for you to sign up for Canva Pro. Pro, totally worth it. It has background remover. You can make all kinds of stuff. Yeah, and like I said, I made a book in it. How cool is that? I also like make all of my social media graphics and whatnot. They also recently came out with um, Canva documents that has some AI writing in it if you are stumped and need a little AI help to maybe write an intro paragraph to something. I don't know. You can get Canva Pro for $119 a year and it is totally worth it. Please stop using Microsoft Word. It is not a design tool and it's frustrating for everybody. That's my show today. I started in the beginning saying how thankful I am that you're here and I'm gonna end it same way. Thank you so much for joining me in the middle. I cannot share enough how much you just being here means to me. As usual, thank you for sharing The Middle with me today. Remember to check out my writings at themiddle.com. That's the M-D-D-L.com. While you're there, you can sign up for the weekly newsletter to get a little bit more middle in your inbox each week. I am a one woman show, so any bit of support means the world to me. I want The Middle to be as accessible as possible, so I have several ways for you to support. You can shop The Middle with some merch or my books, the Lacey Loves affiliate links and recommended products, Patreon for additional community and content, 
And I also just have a tip jar if you'd like to leave a tip. If you like today's show, also make sure to subscribe at your favorite podcatcher, share with a friend, and maybe even leave a five-star review. Thanks so much to Lemon Music Studio for our theme music. It is literally called Sunshine, and that is certainly how it feels to me. Can't wait to see you in the middle again. Thanks for sharing the middle with me. As always, I hope you've been able to see a little bit of yourself in the story we shared today. Don't forget to follow, share, rate, review, and follow me on social media at Lacey Shares. You can always check out the Joyful Support Movement at joyfulsupportmovement.com and see all of the amazing goodness we have there, like No Shame in the Home Game, Pops of Joy, courses, resources, and of course, the Joyful Support Village. All right. Now go out there and spread some joy. Mm -hmm.